Hello, friends and lovers. Welcome back to Hades, A New Beginning. This is episode three. We started a brand new save file on the hell mode. If you missed the first two, I'll have a link in the description toward the playlist for y'all. Try to number those thumbnails, right? That's probably convenient. You appreciate the numbered thumbnails? Do you? Do you care? Does it not matter? Maybe in the title? Be good? I don't know. I should probably do it anyway. Just uh, recapping the mirror there, what we do have unlocked so far. I figured we'd take out the spear next. Uh, it's a base spear, so no aspect or anything. We have also gotten the lucky tooth from Skelly. We finally have two dashes. Thank God for that as well. And here's the heat setup. These are all required by uh, hell mode, so you can't take them off except for tight deadline. But I'm just going to put it on just so we don't have to deal with the survival room. Let's go. Let's get a run started. What do we aim for here? So we are guaranteed this is the third run on a brand new safe house. That means you always get a hammer right here right now oh my god that's amazing that's so good flurry job is the best in slot uh hammer for the spear so i am very pleased with this <laughs> honestly quick spin probably wouldn't be horrible here either i think if we didn't have flurry jab a special thing might have been okay is this going to be good enough with uh, our current mirror setup i still think it'll be quite good I don't think we can i, I kind of don't recall when we get hermes thank god we got that second dash there but yeah all you gotta do is hold down the attack button and just tap the dash button from time to time and we should be pretty good um zeus on the attack would be good just because it does attack quite rapidly it would be good but we can probably settle for artemis we don't have a nectar but we do want to try to plan start plan to start gifting the gods uh we want to gift eurydice for the acorn eventually want to gift Charon for the coin purse eventually. We want to gift all of the different gods for their keepsakes. Particularly Athena, Artemis, Poseidon is probably a big one. Aphrodite. Everyone but Demeter. Rest in peace. Let's see. Yes, it is, Artemis. Yes, it is, baby. I don't really love the dash here when we're probably gonna die but getting flurry jab in the first chamber is definitely gonna increase those odds i think we do just accept a common attack at this point we might not make it though we need keys to unlock more weapons we currently have zero but nectars are probably slightly higher priority when i have zero i'm thinking here i'm sure more keys will show up right Thank you. So, ooh, Poseidon. How badly do we want to give Poseidon? Poseidon is a pretty good god. Athena is probably the one that you'd want the most in order to try to force uh, Athena's dash normally. But is that boring? I feel like it's kind of boring. I actually can't give Poseidon because it's the first time we've seen Poseidon. So we cannot gift. Boy, that little Hades. Hmm, sunken treasure. It does give us gems in darkness. I don't hate it, but if we, I think we just try to make the most of each run, which means tidal dash 100%. Very strong dash boom. Possibly the strongest. It's up there. It's basically, this is the damage, the damage dash boom. Athena is the safety dash boom, you know, to simplify things. So we got a very strong build here, actually, I would say. It's not bad. We don't have any aspects that help boost the damage in any way. Bosses might be a little bit spicier. We only have $54. Meaning that going to the shop really doesn't do a whole lot for us. Yeah, I guess we actually skip it. You wouldn't normally see that see me do this in practically any style of run. I would rather just not take a chamber that you actually have to fight through. Honestly. But I guess in this instance where we're still trying to get our first win, might happen here. Uh I think this is gonna gonna be better long term, of course. Here's a question. Spoilers on a random video like this, where the outcome isn't super important, obviously. If this was like some kind of competitive tournament setting, would you care if the creator tells you what happens via the thumbnail? Like the epic first win or something like that. That's a bit cheesy, even for me. <laughs> like how much do you care about something like that? I'm, I'm actually curious, I'm not sure. Okay, we have our one Nectar. Why don't we take Athena? We actually don't have the Keepsake Cabinet. We're stuck with Skelly's Tooth the whole time, but now we do have Athena available. So that's one God of Keepsake down. Many more to go. The one called Nyx. 
Hmm. Do I like Holy Shield more or Bronze Skin? I'm not really interested in the cast that much. I don't think filling the slot is super important. It doesn't enable any particularly good duo boons. Yeah, even if the special was there, it wouldn't be especially good. So it's kind of a question, what does more here? And I guess I'm going to go Bronze Skin in this instance. I think in the save file's current state, that's the way to go. I think. It's kind of hard for me to really quantify. I mean, it's very straightforward. 10% less damage, right? It's very straightforward. But it's hard for me to quantify just how useful that actually is. I, it's almost like I'd have to know in hindsight how much damage we took. And so how much it would have been without it. Okay, do we want to spend some money on gems? Gems are very, very important for the meta. That is for sure. You can turn them into keys if you really have to as well. But they're just so important for the contractor. You just need tons and tons of them, right? We don't need the Aris Bangle. We could buy Eye of Lamia. Um, it does keep us above 150 for the Obols. I think I'm okay with it because it's a pretty cheap health return. Eh, maybe we didn't really need it. Not sure there, honestly. Okay. This is probably nice for people that usually see me play the game and, I, and I'll often take what I'll call like something goofy. Like, oh, this isn't the best thing, but it's the fun thing. Because sometimes uh, I get requests like, can you do a run where you just always take the best thing? And typically the answer is, well, those are basically the speed runs. You don't take fun things. For speed runs, you take the best thing. But this is an instance where I kind of just have to take the best thing in order to try to win every time. We do, I I mean, I definitely have a lot of challenge runs out there, speed runs or high heat runs and stuff where we do have to take the best thing, but probably hard to find any one particular Hades video of mine. <laughs> Trying to find exactly one. Good luck. Good luck. Okay, max health. Not displeased with that. Yeah, we'll take the big gems. We obviously need a lot more darkness, but the skull means we get more of them, so I'm just going to take the opportunity while we have it. On the mirror, uh, we kind of just want to unlock the next part of it, which requires five keys. So, yeah, we definitely need a lot of keys. We need a lot of everything, obviously. If we get a win early on, like after this run, or rather during this run, yeah. Uh, then that's going to give us a lot of resources. Hmm. Artemis. Yeah, you could get... Uh, sorry, I paused for a tight deadline here out of habit. Uh, you could get... Hunter's Mark is the main thing. Pressure points is okay. Uh, the Palm is a little tempting, I'll admit. Just to make sure you hit the attack. Actually, even hitting the... the Dash would be pretty decent. Yeah, we're going to take Hunter's Mark. For sure. Doesn't do much against a boss like this, but that's okay. It's a pretty good setup we got going on here. I'm pretty sure we don't have Boiling Blood yet still, by the way. So lodging the cast, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we don't have that on the mirror still. So lodging a cast doesn't actually matter. I still kind of do it. It's, it's just good practice is the way I look at it. I know it doesn't matter, but... It's good practice for when I'm not playing like this and to make sure I don't get too uh, out of practice for when the time comes very shortly, right? All those little instances of damage that the mirror gives you, right? Like boiling blood, making enemies take... Is it 50% more damage from your attack special? It doesn't seem like a lot when you look at the mirror, but I think you can really feel the effects when you suddenly have it all stripped away from you. That's when it becomes super noticeable, I think. Okay, Titan's Blood. We can't use any of that stuff yet. The diamonds, the Titan's Blood, none of that stuff is actually useful at this moment. The lounge isn't even open yet. I'm um, looking at the... Wow, the... I'm surprised that the dash isn't a larger percentage of the damage, to be honest. 592, huh? Kind of surprised by that. Just looking at that makes me... Now, like, I was vaguely thinking that palming the dash was, wasn't a horrible idea, but now that I think about it and see that, it's like, oh, it's definitely not the right choice then. You could take the Cyclops jerky, but I don't think we really need it just to get through Asphodel. And I guess at this point, I'd rather save up money for the shop, right? I don't think that temporary amount. If we were in Elysium, I think it would be a different story. But I think we'll be good for Asphodel.
And I was thinking I was going to be stuck with like a spear or special build. It feels like that's the way. <laughs> Whenever I, I get stuck playing the base spear like this, you get like vicious skewer or something like that, and it never feels great. But at the same time, I don't get to really use those builds super often. Not like that, at least. You could have gotten an exploding launcher too, I guess. Hmm, okay. Still nothing around really here. I don't think purging wells show up for a long time. Do the wells of Charon not show up till No, we've seen a few already. It's hard to remember all the different things and when they show up and why. I'm looking forward to experiencing this new wave of information to memorize in Hades 2. It might, I'm, might sound like I'm being sarcastic, but actually, I don't know, there's something very fun about just trying to pick up all these little bits of knowledge, you know? These obscure things that I take semi for granted now, probably. Yeah, we'll go to the shop while it's here. We got the money yeah. for it. Okay. What do you got? Max health and some dankness. Dionysus could give us. Yeah, I mean, there's not much. Premium vintage after party. Don't really care about trippy shot. Um, definitely don't care about the special. Can't get a call boon still. That's scripted for run number... F is it four? It might be the next one. Yeah, but I don't think I brought that up. I'm going to take that and I'll take some meta currency too since it seems like we're pretty ahead at this point in time. Yeah, I didn't even think... I didn't, I didn't even think to discuss the call boon. Yeah, you don't get it for a while. I'm going to guess it's run four, but I don't actually remember. That might be when you get Hermes, actually. There's a run where you're forced to take Poseidon's call in the first chamber. Yeah, I don't, I don't I don't remember what run number it is, but we'll find out, no doubt. And then that's when you can see the call boons is after that point. Oh, crap. Do 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 boom boom do do. Okay, Ares. I mean, there's battle rage. You'd probably ride that verge to kill. It's actually the first time seeing Ares. Yeah, those aren't I don't think Battle Rage fits very well here when we're attacking so rapidly. I think Curse of Vengeance is actually okay. 120 Doom damage. Most of the Vengeance boons, like, you don't really want to rely on getting hit, so... I don't know, it feels kind of bad to take them. But 120 isn't a small amount, at least. Unlike most of the other ones that... I mean, this is one of the better Vengeance boons, I guess, I, is what I'm saying. This one and the Zeus one, I believe. Okay. I was playing our dear friend Zyrubius's incremental mod. Highly recommend you check that out. Changes a few aspects in the game. Not a ton of boons, but one of the things is uh, Demeter's Frozen Touch. That's uh, Demeter's uh, Vengeance Boon. The base damage is normally only, I think, 10? Maybe at Epic it's 20? Anyway, for his mod, he multiplied that by like 5. And I still didn't take it. <laughs> it was like 100 damage on Vengeance. I was like, yeah, but now it's just like the other Vengeance boons. <laughs> it's just not worth it. I know it applied 10 stacks of chill, but it's still not good. Um, Health or Ares? Ares ideally we'd be getting Urge to Kill, I guess. Don't really care about the special boon. Don't care about the cast boon from Ares. Um, it might actually start offering us like a Dire Misfortune and Impending Doom. Which are the tier 2 Doom Boons, basically. Because now we have the Curse of Vengeance. I think I will take the Max Health in this instance, just because the best boon from Ares there is just not a, not amazing. That being Urge to Kill. That would be the probably the best one for us at this moment. Very, like, boring, passive, blah, 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 right? Do I think the boring passive should be changed? Hmm, are they not exciting enough? I think it's okay to have some. I think it's okay to have some if they're all like that. That's when you've gone awry. Same thing with like meta progression and stuff. If like every single one is just, you know, plus a small amount of health, plus a small amount of damage, blah, blah, blah. Vampire survivor style. I feel like that's when things get kind of boring. Uh, really? And it just feels like you're being forced to wait to actually beat the game. In, even though you kind of are still stuck with that in Hades here. Okay, we take the palm now. I do think there is like a amount of force waiting for players, obviously. 
to get a certain amount of upgrades before you're realistically going to escape. Damn. Didn't get to hit the attack. I guess it is the dash then here. We'll never know what the earliest a player has beaten Hades, the earliest run, without having played it before or seen any footage of it before. It's an interesting thought if we could somehow know that. Of course, it would have to be, in order to judge it fairly, it would have to be someone that somehow has received zero external help so that they're all on the, the same the same page, you know what I mean? <sighs> the slam heads, you know, every time they get me. But there's no way for us to know. We'll never know! I think it's safe to say that someone playing Hades for the first time, I don't think it's possible that you could do it on the first run without the knowledge of the, without even like the m most minor amount of knowledge of the game. I just don't think it's plausible. Ah! There. Could someone have sat there and just like milked, uh, milked? <laughs> Grinded out the game and never actually progressed and, but just eventually did beat the first run. Maybe it's possible. I've never heard of anyone doing this. It would be maddening if they did, I'm sure. Woo! Make better use of Hunter's Mark here. Ah! I have no idea, like, well, I can't tell you the the first run I'd be Hades on, plus I already had, like, most of the meta stuff unlocked by the time Hades was even introduced to the game. I couldn't tell you the first, how many attempts it took for me to beat what was the final boss of the game when I did start playing, which was Lerny. <laughs> I can't remember. I definitely remember dying. I definitely remember dying many times. I can't really tell you. I spend too long, don't have footage of it or anything, so. All right, we're looking pretty good. I took, I took a touch more damage than I would have liked. There's no keepsake cabinet yet. We'll take that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're selling any of that. I don't think we're gonna take Stygian Shard either. Enough of this place. Okay. All right, all right. It looks like we are getting two health per room, so meaning lasting consequences does not actually lower the amount of health we are getting from whatever that's called. That's what the outside I already forgot. Chthonic Vitality, I believe. Hmm. I really want to palm the attack. Might not be able to, though. So yeah, it looks like that was the right choice, because I'm pretty sure if you go to plus three health per room, it's just going to sit at two because of the reduced healing from the pack. So I guess we just leave it there <laughs> for like ever now at plus two because it I mean there's no point in increasing it um there's that boon that increases healing sources does it affect chthonic chthonic vitality the one from Demeter I never thought about it I'd have to see the wording again it might I mean, you take that boon so rarely that you... I mean, I, I take that boon so rarely that I don't think I would bother anyway, even if it turned out that did work. Something tells me I'm ugh, I'm going to get itchy and I'm going to end up, like, leveling it anyway. I think I'm going to take that there. I don't know. All right, can you please let me palm the attack just, like, the one time? This time, though. It's going to be a long time until we get rolls on our boons. For sure. Maybe I should have pawned the, uh, the dash back there still. I'm kind of thinking. Yeah, I think I should have. I see you. Come here, come here. Boom, da do da do 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 Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Yes! Ah, oh, thank you. Sweet Moses. 153. I definitely don't want to skip a shop here in Elysium. Even if I didn't have money for it, I probably wouldn't skip. We don't need the health. Ares, once again, is pretty questionable. We'll probably take more Artemis coming up. Um, You could hope to palm the attack again. I don't know if it's super exciting at this point. The one was really all I wanted. Urge to kill is about equivalent. Actually, urge to kill is better. 10%. Yeah, this went from 20 to 28%. 
Urge to kill is 10%, and I believe they're comparable as is, so this is just better than a palm anyway. Because the next palm would probably only give us 4 to 6%, I believe, on the attack, if it did even land. <laughs> Allow me to palm the attack, I should say. Okay. So our damage isn't going to get a lot better at this point in time. There's no usable duos, or rather plausible duos. Interesting duos, whichever. Got him. <laughs> we can get some little things here and there. Support fire is okay. It's okay. I think we'll see in the damage meters that I think it's actually quite underwhelming. This is probably one of the better instances for it. I, uh, clean kill is not great though. 15% on what's already at 300%. It's such a small amount, right? So that's 15% of three. So 15 of 300, right? What What is that? That is a that a five so it's a five percent increase basically over your base crit damage. It's just so so little, right? Yeah, we'll take Athena. Let's see how support fire feels. I mean, it might do better than urge to kill technically, but we're not gonna really be able to tell. Let's see, how do we do? Support fire, bottom of the rung. Not a huge surprise though, anyway. I wouldn't expect it to be as good as the dash. Sorry, I know I'm pausing a lot here. I'm thinking a lot more than the average run. Trying to make sure that we perform well. I guess holy shield is really the only thing here. I don't think the cast is particularly useful. I don't personally need sure footing in this instance. I played the game enough. I, I mean, I'm going to get hit by a trap. Don't get me wrong. We now take health because I think I'm comfortable with the palms at this point in time. The best thing to palm would still be the attack and it would be pretty minor overall. Okay. I mean, for one boon, I guess you can look at something like support fire. You know, if you add that on to the attack damage, you can look at it as, you know, that's sort of like a pretty good for like a one boon thing, right? Mm, I don't know. It's not great, honestly. It's still not great. <laughs> Better than anything else offered. It's a feel good boon, but I don't know if the performance matches the marketing. You know what I'm saying? Come here, buddy. Okay, lovely. We're doing quite well. I am pleased. Let's think about this. Yeah, we don't want to sell any of that. We'll take the big jammies. Lovely. Dash is actually caught up a touch here. We're not going to get a second hammer offered. Strange, huh? I, d I always wonder why that is. They're, you're guaranteed to get the hammer on your third run on a new save in the first chamber. But then they won't offer you a second hammer. Once again, it just seems like the game is stacked so that they, they, do, they really just don't want to let you win too easily. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, of course, like, we, always, we have to grind for the meta stuff already. So I'm kind of surprised that they stacked the game artificially. What feels like artificially is how I describe it right against the player by adding these things but there's also an element of you don't want to introduce too many things all at once to a player that is brand new to a rather deep and complex game right like you don't want to throw too many things at them right away i guess is the idea i'd rather take the money now maybe that's why but i think at this but the whole second hammer thing doesn't really make sense right because you've already introduced the hammer to us. So well, why can't we have a second hammer if we get far enough for it? Hmm. Why? And not only that, but the very next run, you can get a second hammer. <laughs> right? So I'm kind of like, huh, I don't know why they did that. Don't know. I can't think of the, a, a good reasoning for that, other than they just don't want you to win that early. They want you to savor the flavor. Oh, 
Oh god, oh god. Yeah, this room's messy. I feel like everyone hates the shieldy guys, but I feel like as time goes on, it's the bow boys that I truly hate. The armored, armored bow boys. Truly loathe them. They run away from you, they duck around corners, blah, blah, blah. They're the worst, I tell you. All right, a free boon from Artemis. Mmm, could get pressure points. Could settle on clean kill. That's about it. I think I'd rather take the chance of getting like health or something from here instead. Our Doom Boon did not do a whole lot there. Even a room where I got hit quite often, honestly. Maybe I was overvaluing it. Always hits the spot. That hurt urge to kill could be worse, I guess. Cheers, Ugh, it's definitely not good. I mean, you could take the special to try to open up the duo boons. It's, oh, that's not good either. The cast isn't going to do a whole lot when we only have one cast. And the only way we deflect is via Holy Shield. So I just don't think that makes, stand, makes sense. Although, wait a minute. In order to, do we even have the codex yet? We do not have the codex yet. Uh, so I can't actually look up the legendary. I assume you need a core boon from Athena to get the legendary, though. I know Brilliant Repost is one of the requirements. I, I'm going to say that you still need a core boon. I guess I'm going to take the special. I don't look. I'm not, I'm not going to make use of it. Uh, yeah, maybe I should have done the cast on to open up that weird duo boon between Poseidon and Athena instead then. Yeah, because if I'm not going to use the special, what's the point of this, right? Whereas I might throw out the cast on a cage. You know what I mean? Okay, my friends. Oh, you're swinging the wrong way, and you still managed to hit me. What a load of hogwash. Washing hogs. Okay, he did the three. Bullhorn. I'm kind of splitting the damage between them to make try to make good use of Hunter's Mark. Oh, that was kind of weird, right? Because he's charged up his spin. Whereas if you if you target down the bull first, what? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Okay, they gave us a break here. Thank God. Watch the bull here to see when to get out. We actually went through Theseus first, which is not typically how things go for us. I think we're just going to focus on him then. Woo, that was close. Took some more hits there. There we go. Minotaur already got down to phase two, actually. I guess I didn't notice when it happened. No! Crap. Got me with the backswing. Whoa! Oh! I thought he got me. I wasn't certain if he was going to hit that pillar there, so I started dashing. Oh, it was really close to getting bonked, though. Hey, we made it out of Elysium. Can we beat Daddy like this? It's actually going to be tough. Oh, do we not say hi to the Red Shade? Oh, maybe Zag doesn't say hi yet. Or maybe I missed it somehow. Maybe. Don't know. Skelly's Tooth is at level 2. Hmm. Need health. Hydrolite definitely restores some health. That'll help a little bit. Not crazy, though. That's for sure. We still might struggle. I don't know if we're going to be dead this this one still. Like, you saw... We saw we saw how much damage we were doing there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Hades is definitely more predictable, though. At least. Compared to the heroes. Oh no. Well, I guess they're they're both as predictable in a sense, but <laughs> remember this? They try to trick you. Before the underworld's entryway. The tales of what happens to those foolish enough to attempt to pass are far too graphic to describe. So it's really come to this boy. After everything we've been through. I can't believe 
Well then. Zag is just like, yeah, let's fight. Nothing left to say. <laughs> Except for on your guard. He's about to fight Cerberus, his pet dog. He was about to do it. <laughs> no, but seriously, boy. I know why you're here. Hmm. Was he? I guess he was kidding. After a moment's hesitation and deliberation, the voracious hound of hell. No wonder if Cerberus would have fought. I would have had a fight. I would have had a fight. I'll admit it. Aries and a shitload of palms are down there, huh? Uh, we might need this health restoration now, honestly. Let's go this way first. We're going to take the skull rooms first because the mini bosses are just easier than the regular rooms and sticks, honestly. Substantially easier. No poison. Thank you. Our 75 health. Okay. We good? Getting a little nervous now. Like this mini boss in particular is substantially easier than a regular chamber. Substantially. Of course, I can't kill it super fast under the circumstances. Just take it easy here. Just make sure we get the stabs. Make sure we don't get bonked by this thing. All right, not bad at all. Plus 50 health. Lovely. That was a pretty good one. Gambling on that sack. Hmm. If we did lose our death defines, Athena could have restored it. I guess we just go big palm here. After looking at things. Yeah, there's really just not a whole lot else. I would still prefer to fight the second mini boss first anyway, in case we don't get the sack right away. We don't even earn money via gold urns. There's no gold urns on the ground. We get money from killing enemies. As you always do. But gold urns are you get from the contractor. And we'll go over all the meta stuff at the end of each run, by the way. We'll go back to the house and we do some shopping. I don't think the lounge is still going to be open yet. So we, but we might be able to start fishing soon. Because now we picked up a diamond. I think it's the... I think you got to spend the diamond to get the fishing rod. Okay. I mean, it's definitely been a better run than the shield run. That's for sure. I feel like this has gone quicker already than that. Line of sight, that dude, while he spits. He always does like a long dash right before he spits. I missed it. But then once you get rid of the armor, you can stun lock. Wasn't too bad, though, overall. Ah, I can't hit the attack. Truly, madly, deeply. Hmm, a 33% increase on support fire. Oh, boy. Uh, or a nearly 50% increase on the dash. I'm going to guess it's the dash. I'm looking at the damage armor. Yeah, it was definitely the dash. Hmm. So no sack yet. Money is not going to do a lot for us. We already have urge to kill from Ares. We have the Vengeance Boon, Athena, we have Bronze Skin, we have Holy Shield. Ooh. Guess we could get that weird duo boom between her and Poseidon, potentially. The odds are not high. What is that one? You take, like, less boss damage or something? I mean, I guess it could do something. I feel like there's something else from her I'm not thinking of that we could get, too. Okay. Doom actually did something in that room. Looks like I hit a ton. <laughs> Hold on. Don't panic. That's the trick to the poison, really. It's just don't panic. It's the panic that'll do ya. Yes! Okay, we didn't have to do any more chambers. Okay, I think we got a decent shot here. It's, it's gonna be challenging, though. You're probably gonna not hear me say much. Your abilities that can deflect also make foes exposed. It's probably the best. You don't get an extra death defiance from this. It would only replenish it if it's missing. I mean, the effect of being impervious for two seconds after you use it, it's just not worth it. I wonder if the cast is honestly better here. I'm going to take Blinding Flash, though, I guess. I, on, I, it, it's, it's very minor. I mean, I could uh, purposely throw out the special to try to make use of it. Do we have a Nectar? We do not. 
We do not. Hmm. Am I gonna remember to throw out the special from time to time? I don't think so, honestly. All right, first a dad fight. Can we do it? Slow and steady, I gotta take it. That is not typically how I do things. I'm not used to that for sure. I'm used to being up against the clock <laughs> at all times. We are not, this is not that. You know, you're right. Uh, the Helm of Darkness. Well, let's see. You've berated me repeatedly. We're gods, boy. We're gods, boy. No, you're going home, not me. Okay. Does he always throw three here? No, it's only in phase three if that happens, right? Or is it phase two even? No, it's phase three I'm thinking of. You'll understand. I'm used to EM4, of course. Mm. Just gonna save the dashes and be cautious here. That way we can dash only when it's actually necessary. Kill it, kill it, got it. Call that a cast? All right. What do we got? Armored Chariot. Ooh, ow, that still hit me, really? Thought it was done. Ooh, that hit me again too. It's the Chariot that's doing me. Try to get rid of it. There we go, Chariot done. I'm not too worried about the lout. Okay. Oh, papa. Achilles told you to be quick. Okay. How many times am I going to say okay? Yeah. I'm just going to worry about the ads. I'm going to try to just worry about the ads. Is this all you summoned? Whoa. I think that's actually a thing that can happen if Hades is far away when he's uh, pulling out the summons. You can actually skip some of them. Ah, got me. Very close. Okay. Ooh, hard part's kind of done now. Let's get rid of this. Okay. Ooh, that was close. He's doing the triple weird thing. We're hearing the late part of the song here. We might even get the repeat. Oh, I mistimed that one. Oh, all right. It's looking pretty good, though. Still got one death defiance. Still got Skelly's too. Oh, shit. Really? Thought it was okay. I was not okay. Since I lost the death defiance to the skull, it actually doesn't get lodged. All right, we're just gonna hug him. The poor fire can actually help, really? Break some of the vases. What? I guess I didn't do it right. I only got myself to blame. Be careful here. Hoopa, be careful. It's finicky to try to hug him while doing the lasers. Oh, 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 God. Like, it's not always super reliable that you're not going to get hit on this sleigh. 
I feel like there's like wonky angles. Could just be me though. Here come the pots. Let's pull out a little early here. Is it laser time? It is. No, no, no! I got pushed back by something there. 75 health. Woo! Whoa! A sudden charge there. I'm going in. 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 Oh, no! Woo! There we go. The first win. It was challenging, though. It was very hard. Go! Go on then. Get out. Get out of here. Let's take a look at the DPS meteor. Meteor? Meter. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to go through uh, grease and everything here. You don't get to see that often. Probably one of the bigger oper missed opportunities I think the game had. I think everyone's in pretty big agreement here that uh not being able to go back to greece after the credits just felt weird honestly surprising maybe there are some subtle things at play there as to why but i i, don't, I guess i don't totally understand uh why that would be the case like we don't even need more dialogue i feel like it would just be fun to just walk through it uh even you know but i guess dialogue would be ideal here we go. There's that Titan Blood. I just want to peek at the DPS meter. Support Fire was third after Title Dash. I wasn't dash striking as often since I was trying to conserve the dashes. But yeah, the Doom damage wasn't that good. So, ah, interesting. I mean, it was only on Vengeance. And we just don't get hit that often. Or rather, we can't get hit that often before we're just dead. Right? So I guess that kind of makes sense under these circumstances. So, of course, the deflected poorly. But yeah, Support Fire, I guess not horrible. Not horrible. All right, we can't rush this. Actually, you have to walk through it. It's no dashing or anything. So saddle in. An overlook. Await the first glimpse of the sun to your left, and onward through the cold. Sure, yes, I will be dashing next time. <laughs> it's okay, we can soak it in a little bit here. The beautiful scenery. Very striking. Surface, wind swept, racked by freezing cold, nonetheless instills within the prince a sense of awe and the sublime, for it is unlike anything that he has seen. It's beautiful. Hmm, so this is supposed to be Zagreus's first look at the surface. Never left the underworld before this. Uh. Interesting. I think a lot of times you'd already had the fishing rod if by the time you got here, right? So he already starts coughing, and in the realm of video games and movies and television, that basically means they're about to die. That's the number one indicator. It's cute that the sun kind of like pops up like that. I'm surprised he doesn't like hiss at it or something. Kind of burn his retinas, like looking at the eclipse, you know? First time coming to the surface, but he seems to know an awful lot about it still already. I remember the first time coming here and thinking there's got to be secrets. There's got to be stuff. You know what I mean? There's got to be things around. Hello. indeed. Hello. And a fish can spawn over here if I remember correctly. But yeah, you you don't get to see all these details very often. Look, like, look at the cute scarecrows. What's she growing here? Cabbage? Lettuce? Romaine, icebergs, spinach. You got different signs going on there. You even got quite a look. Look at all those goddamn tomatoes. Jesus, actually growing all this. Hey, who might you be wandering all the way out here? You're trespassing on private property, you know. Speak up. Speak up. Speak up, boy. You must be Persephone. My name is Zagreus, and I think I might be your son. What? How dare! How dare! Get out of here! Get out, or I shall make you out with you. So I guess she just flat out doesn't believe him at this instance. If you don't know, she thinks Zag is dead. 
which I guess un gets unveiled very shortly. These are the voice lines I'm going to listen to, by the way, in each playthrough. I'm probably going to skip pretty much everything else, but these are always kind of fun. You are her. I, I don't care if you hate me, but I'm not leaving until I get some answers. I never even knew you existed. Why did you leave me? You died. You... You died. Those burning feet, they... sputtered out when you were born. But... Now you're standing here before me. How? The burning feet sputtered out like... He was born, and his feet were on fire, and they're like, that's normal. <laughs> but then they went out like a Charmander's tail, and she's like, ah, shit. Guess you gotta better throw him in the ditch. I died. I died. What, you mean permanently died? But I'm alive. Oh, God. You never even knew I existed either. Alive. Sagrius, he... Even kept your name. You live. How can this be? You live. You live. Oh, the cruel fates. My son. We don't, like, in Greek lore, there's really very little known about Zagreus. So we can't base too much about it. So a lot of this is kind of uh, made up by Supergiant. Time passes. In short, I beat him finally, though he did everything <laughs> he could to prevent our meeting here like this. But there's something he wanted me to tell you in the end. He said to tell you Cerberus is doing very well. I still like I don't I don't I guess I don't get it. Is it a joke? The whole Cerberus thing? I would assume so, but <laughs> I'm still kinda shocked. He told you that, did he? That's good. That's good. Though tell me something, Zagreus. How is it that you found me? To have journeyed all this way, I scarce believe it. Zagreus? Ugh. Oh, it's Guess I'm just a little tired. It's just all. the Rhea. Not accustomed to the weather, as I think you call it. Ate no. too many pomegranates. No, that isn't it. It's that you cannot stay here. You can't stay here. How rude! Really, you're <laughs> kicking me out. Why? The fates are cruel, Zagreus. You're bound to that place, the same as your father. So they would have us say goodbye, for now. My heart soars knowing you live. But then it breaks that our time together was so brief. No, I can come back. I can come back. Now that I found you, he... Maybe he'll just let me come back. You tell him I demand it. And I demand he also tell me how come he, or for that matter, Nix... Never sent notice that you lived. Olympus is all rife with schemers. But I was so naive to think that they were different. You know, I gotta say, this game, like, she calls the people of Olympus, the gods of Olympus, schemers, right? But not knowing anything about Greek lore, not that I know a lot more now, but prior to playing this game, they really painted, a, like, a nice picture of all the Olympian gods. And then when you go to, like, literally any Wikipedia page, and it's, like, the most obscene shit you've ever seen before in your life that these gods were like the worst of the worst people to everyone and everything around them and to each other <laughs> it's it's I'll horrible tell him. i'll tell him i feel awful i i have to go the stick shall take you then oh zagreus farewell my son won't you come back to me when you are able please Come back. I shall be waiting here. However long it takes. However long it takes. Yay! <gasps> Hold on. Rip. So what? So it's the pomegranates that force forces him to stay there, right? Have to get back there. When you eat the pomegranate of the underworld or something, you kind of get stuck there. I think uh, don't quote me on that if you know let me know in the comments i found it sir is this now when we get the codex there's a lot to cover here so i'm afraid we can't really go through all the dialogue we're not going to talk to papa through him he's a jerk anyway all right let's spend baby we still don't have the lounge open 
Uh, intro Infernal Troves. Um, not certain about that. We definitely, we have to get the Faded List Man of Prophecies. That's huge here. Because you get a ton of darkness just from beating Hades for the first time. So I think that's essentially mandatory. It's probably best to go ahead and take the Keepsake Cabinet for in-between regions, even if I don't have an immediate use for it. Ah, I can't get the Rod yet still, huh? These are all cosmetics. We don't have to worry about that stuff. You scroll down? No, oh, yeah, I guess it, I guess you gotta do some other things first or something. Not sure. I'm gonna talk to Nyx because I know eventually you need her to open up the second side of the mirror, but I think it's actually super far away still, honestly. As mortals do. As mortals do. You think we're actually gonna take another L now at this point? It's possible we don't. Boom! So we get the, a thousand darkness for winning. Apparently, I get three nectar just for meeting everybody, and that's probably all we got right now, right? Yeah, it's gonna be a long time. We only got a couple keys, but we can still unlock the bow with that. Is there anyone we want to give nectar to right now? There's Cerberus. There's Meg. There's oh, Cerberus isn't even here. Are you kidding me? Can't gift it to Hades. Achilles is here, but I don't like his keepsake. I would gift it to Hades. Nyx's keepsake is horrible. Ah, I think I'm going to skip Meg's for now, too. I guess I'm just going to save it for the gods. We don't have enough keys to unlock the next part of the mirror here. We're just going to get an extra Death Defiance, cap out Shadow Presence, and we're just going to save. Like I talked about earlier, there's no point in leveling this right now. I know it's only 40 darkness, but there's no point, you know? Not at this junction. So now we have Athena's keepsake, so you could start with that. Open up. We get to unlock the bow. Once the lounge opens, this becomes a lot more elaborate, as we know. But we still got some time. No point in gifting Skelly. I guess we're going to save that. But Nectar, we just received for the gods that cometh. That way we can unlock, I don't know, probably Artemis's keepsake. It's going to be super important. I think we're forced... To get Poseidon's boon at the start of the next run, but I guess I'm not sure. That might be when they introduce the call boons, which would make things e even easier, right? But I don't know. Now we got a good amount of stuff uh, going on here. We just need lots and lots of keys in order to keep up with the mirror and everything. Darkness takes a back seat now at this point, I think, for a little bit until we get some more keys. Anyway, that was a long one, I know. I hope you all enjoyed it, though. It was fun. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, make sure you let me know if you got any feedback on the runs. I guess, you know, with Zags runs, you know what I mean? Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.